People in Wellsville are breathing a sigh of relief tonight. A man accused of breaking into several homes overnight is in jail, and it's what he left behind that still has one woman very shaken. First News reporter Karen O'Brien talked to her today. She's live in the newsroom with her story. Wellsville police tell me that Jason Allen tried to break into seven or eight homes along Lincoln Avenue, Commerce Street, and 15th Street last night. But the only house that he was able to get into belongs to Dolly Brophy, and she tells me that she is shaken by the experience. Dolly Brophy says she's lived on Lincoln Avenue in Wellsville for 40 years and she's always felt safe there. But that changed at 3 this morning. I heard this loud bang and my, I, I knew someone was in the house so I screamed for my son. Her son ran to the kitchen and found a mess. Left a trail of blood like on my kitchen chair and there was blood on my floor and blood on my screen door. Wellsville police caught Jason Allen minutes after his break-in spree began. He only broke into one house, but tried getting into eight. Apparently he was on some type of substance from what I learned from the hospital. He had different drugs in his system. Police say they're glad to have Allen off the streets. They've been dealing with him for a couple of weeks, off and on for little stuff. They said just little petty stuff until now. Chief Wilson tells me that he's extremely proud of his officers' response. He says that they're down officers because of their fiscal emergency, and he's proud that his officers were able to do such a great job with little resources. In the newsroom tonight, Cameron O'Brien, WKBN 27 First News.